Hey guys, Xbox Games here. Check it out. We are back with another eh, little medium size uh, kind of Lego set review here. Now, you know, a, a lot of you gamers out there probably know exactly what these are. These, of course, are going to be Lego Overwatch. And, you know, these things have been sold out at my local store forever. And, of course, with the holidays, just made it even worse. And they finally have these in stock. So I decided to, you know, go ahead and pick them up. So let's pull up the box here. This is going to be kit number 75973, uh, Diva and Reinhardt. I mean, these things are awesome. If you guys watched, I did a... Um, uh, a review on, you know, the, the the bigger mech in it, which is Bastion. That thing alone is 602 pieces, and you guys can see on that video. I mean, that thing was, the thing was just ridiculous, and I love it. But hey, we get the smaller ones here. I can't complain, right? <laughs> so let's get right into it. Um, our first, the first one we're gonna look at is gonna be, of course, Reinhardt itself. So check check this out. I mean, the detail on this thing is awesome. Just look at that. The, all the individual pieces come together. You have a lot of nice kind of finishing off smoothing pieces here, or smooth uh, kind of finish pieces. Great kind of armor pieces for the uh, for the shoulders here. Now the legs themselves kind of they do have this back and forth as well as the um, the actual feet kind of move, but there's no knee movement, which. I mean, it's okay, but, you know, you don't have too many options on how you want to place this thing. So, you know, just keep that in mind. They do go out and in, but there is no knee movement. And I do like the kind of the ball joints, again, because you can just give it so much more um, kind of placement when you want to kind of put the actual, you know, figure itself. I do love the arms. The arms are the same deal. So you can check it out, kind of can move up and down. So you can do just a lot of different movements. However, the hinge joints, on the actual arms, of course, you know, just only move back and forth. And I guess that's kind of nice, right? Because you don't want an arm kind of going backwards, but hey. <laughs> the hands actually look really cool too, so you can check it out. They kind of open up and close, just like real fingers. I thought that was really cool. And the other arm is pretty much the same thing, but of course it holds this just huge weapon here. <laughs> I like that. It, it looks, I mean, it goes very well with this uh, with this figure. Oh man, that, look, that looks just looks just looks awesome now what's nice about this is they do come with two individual fi um, mini figures but of course big bastion didn't come with one but i wish it did so you can see him kind of right here the top just opens up and he comes right out so not bad uh, i don't really i don't really like the the actual torso printing i mean it's cool it's kind of unique but still uh the hat kind of reminds me of saruman or something like that <laughs> you know from lord of the rings if you, if you remember that but still not bad. I do like it because, again, it comes with two individual little mini figures. So, oh, man, look at that. Very, very cool. Let's move on to Diva. Let's make sure he stands up because he's a little weak. So check this one out. Look at the pink. I mean, the, the, the pink is awesome. I don't see that a lot, um, you know, on, on many uh, actual Lego mini figures or figures in general. Now, this is kind of cool. If we look at the legs, they kind of move the same way as uh, as Reinhardt. So you can move it up and down. The knees are, well, I guess the ankles, you can call it here, do have articulation back and forth. Very similar to Reinhardt, but the knees, right, are just kind of static. They don't, they don't actually bend. But you could still put this in a lot of different positions. So the other one, of course, just the same. The guns up front... So these things move, which I thought is cool. So, you know, as you're, as you're kind of fighting, they can kind of move and shoot. They do have, of course... As you guys can see those little pistols right there on the front. If I click it, I'm going to probably lose it. But still, they have double kind of movement. So you can kind of move it out and then move it back in, you know, or something like that. doesn't really matter. But this one also comes with a minifigure. And the thing is about this one, I mean, as you guys can probably see, she's just she's just laying in there. There's really no great way to put, uh, to put her in there. Uh, in the back, there is kind of this hidden hatch, so you guys can kind of pull this up and just slide um, slide the figure in there. But again, you know, it's it doesn't really fit in there all that great, but it's still very cool. You can pop up at the front here. Whoop, whoop. And typically, you know, she should be standing up or something like that, but, you know, she just kind of just folds in there. I mean, sometimes you can, go, you know, go like that, but really, whoa, but really... Oh, if I can get this thing to work right, it's supposed to look like that. So she just kind of lays in there. She does have a very cool pink gun, as you guys can see. So that's not bad. That's the, the first unique pink gun that I've seen like that. And, of course, the 
uh, the hair itself is very unique. I haven't seen this on any other figures yet. And I believe this is the only set that you can get her in. So she's kind of unique to this particular set. Who knows? They might come out with more uh, later on, but her printing is still, you know, it's kind of basic, nothing too fancy. I was really more interested, of course, in that pink gun because that is something that's unique. So let me know what you guys think about these two little sets. Whoa, I think they're awesome. I think this Overwatch series is is cool, right? They're kind of bridging this gap between gamers and uh, Lego stuff. So you don't really have to build your own custom stuff. You guys can grab this. So definitely subscribe, guys, if you guys haven't already. We do a lot of Lego stuff. We're hoping to do a lot of giveaways here soon. <laughs> Thanks again, guys.